As Teresa and Jake pulled into the driveway of the beach house, the kids seemed to wake up in unison, and their excited scream started. They jumped out of the minivan as soon as it came to a stop. Teresa yelled after them to stay away from the water until their father could go in with them. Teresa didn't notice that the house looked like it was already open. She was too busy getting everything out of the minivan as quickly as she could, so she could get to the grocery store, get back, and get organized. She sat at the table in the kitchen to double-check her list before leaving. Jake, already shirtless, was outside rounding up the kids to go swimming. As Mary and Miller made their way up the driveway, Miller asked, Mom, whose van is that? Mary looked at the van and shrugged. Probably Ms. Boucher. She usually cleans on Fridays when someone is here. Mary got out of the car, opened the trunk, and started gathering bags. Come on, kiddo. Let's get these groceries in the house and put away. Mary looked up and started at the sight of Teresa standing on the steps in front of her. Teresa, sure she had everything on the list she needed, picked up the list and her keys, walked out the back door, and came face to face with her sister, arms laden with grocery bags. What are you doing here? Teresa demanded. Mary was shocked. Teresa actually looked outraged that Mary was in her own beach house in her own odd year. Mary regained her composure. Hello, Teresa. How are you? Teresa folded her arms across her chest. I said, what are you doing here? Teresa, it's her house, Jake said from the corner of the deck, where no one had noticed he stood. Mary, he said as he walked towards her, arms open wide to envelop her in a hug. How are you? It's been too long. He turned to Miller, arms open. Miller, look how you've grown. Miller took a step back. Mary spoke. We're good, Jake. Mill, this is your Uncle Jake and Aunt Teresa. It's been a long time since you've seen them. We're leaving, Teresa announced. Teresa, stay. It's a big house, Mary answered quietly. Jake, get the van loaded. We're leaving, Teresa shot back. No, Jake replied. Excuse me? Teresa glared at him. Jake stood up a little straighter. I said no. Teresa, your sister just invited us to stay, so we're not going anywhere. It's high time you two spent some time together. Oh, hell no, Teresa retorted. Jake stepped to Mary and took the bags out of her hands. It's a big house, Teresa. Get over it. Mary, let me help you with these bags. And thank you for inviting us to stay. Jake opened the door and walked into the house with Miller following behind. Teresa and Mary stood rooted in the same spots, staring at each other. Jake, are you just going to leave me here with her? Teresa wailed. You bet I am, just like I told you at home. It really is time you grew up and got over your jealousy. We're here. Mary is here. You are going to handle it and I don't need to be the referee. With that, he closed the screen door. The two sisters stared at each other. Mary, who was cooler in a crisis than Teresa, made the first move. Let's sit down out front and see if we can resolve some of this. What's to resolve? As soon as Jake sees that I won't stay, we will leave you to your house. Teresa stood with her fists clenched and parked on her hips. I invited you to stay. The house is big. We are adults. We can work this out and behave like family. I'm sure that would please our parents. Well, you've always pleased them, no matter what you did. Let's go sit down, and we can begin right there. <laughs> 